Hello, if you're watching this video, it's because you're interested in a reverse Ford and uh, reverse neutral and Ford gearbox, like this little one here. Amazing little thing, I'm going to put this onto my go kart. I just want to do a quick video. I've already unboxed it, I'm not doing an unboxing video, it's just what are my thoughts on it and um, you know, the quality of it, can, considering it's coming out of China. I got this one from AliExpress, obviously, all these um, sprockets and bolts and everything was all in little packets. and. It's really easy to put together. It's very, very simple. Uh, if you need any help, you can just leave a comment and I can sh I can tell you how. Um, but, you know, basically the way I want to mount this to my go-kart, because my engine mounts only like three inches off the ground, I was actually going to run the torque converter. I think it's the driven, yeah, the driven um, pulley on here and then run, a, run the chain to here. But the way it's set up on my go-kart is because to mount this, actual gearbox that sits this way by the way upright like this if you want to know but you could probably I, I had to think about it you could probably run it this way because you know i don't see why not the oil level would stay down low see if the manager's designed to run this way 250 mils of oil is probably going to go to the top of that so it's feeding oil up to the top here anyway off top of it yeah the way the way to make it work to with your pulley or you you know your driven pulley those um what they call them tab two CVTs which I got on my go car and I'll show you guys I'll take you to the garage yeah sorry but that as I was saying to run your driven pulley off your, your torque converter um <clears throat> these here are your your mounting points and there's another one there which comes with this mount which I believe is some type of chain tensioner for the original go-kart these maybe have been uh, produced to fit on these Chinese go-karts but these two here are mounted I'm just going to use some angle iron and make a little um basically box out of it to fit this in, in the right position and I'm just going to run a, the chain from my CVT to this input shaft here and then run the output shaft to the sprocket just means I'm going to have to put the sprocket over about one inch so if you look at it this way you actually have to space it out you know I was I was actually this was a thought I had but I was wanting to run this as an input shaft and that as an output because that means I won't have to put my wheels my tires and wheels out wider because I want to try and keep it as narrow as possible which I'm not too sure uh, I'm not confident I don't want to do it because I don't think this is actually made to be an output it's made to be an input and I, I believe with the stress that this putting the sprocket out here the stress on this will probably you know wreck a bearing maybe even crack a case so unless I put a support bearing on the side but you know as you see when I take in the garage that there's really not much space I have to work with so um, <clears throat> I'm not going to actually put my driven pulley on here, like I was saying before, because actually about up to here of this this uh, gearbox here will be sitting below the actual engine in order to line this up with the driven pulley on it to your drive pulley on your, on your engine. So, you know, bear that in mind, these do sit a little bit lower than your engine. Uh, I've seen a video on YouTube, this very clever bloke, he made a, um, he mounted his engine, this, this here gearbox to the engine, making his own custom mounts, and it was real clever. And I'd like to have done that for my application, but it won't work due to the fact that my go-kart's like really low to the ground, and I do not want to hit this casing on the road while I'm going, because this is just aluminium, it won't take much to crack that open, and there goes, what, $300 down the drain. But um, <clears throat> it's going to be awesome to have a reverse, I'll tell you that much. Really good. Good little unit though, so I'm going to open it up, make it in the garage and just have a look inside it and stuff like that. But I'm very pleased and I'm happy I bought it. I've seen a few videos on YouTube. Look, there's not much information about these little units on the internet other than buy them and <laughs> make it work. But if you're thinking of buying one, I would not, I would say to do it because really it's very, it's very straightforward, very common sense. Uh, there's not much to them really if you've played around with pulling cars and motorbikes to parts it's, this is just like another little piece in the puzzle right like a transfer case or something but you know that's your this is your selector here and you got your well it's not your selector or i don't know what you call that pulley that selects the gear you know this comes off and underneath it there's a shaft with a spline on it right and that can still move that's your ford neutral reverse I need two hands to turn it, one hand's holding the camera, I'm not going to bother you guys get the concept. You know, that's, look, that's just showing you there, that's a gear. Neutral. Yeah, that's as far as I'm going. Then you've got your selector here, which is actually quite a nice little unit. It's got on it at the top. You can really get the light. There you go, Ford Neutral, oh, Drive, sorry, Reverse 
neutral in the middle. And these are your selectors here, and the way you figure it out is, you know, I just mounted mine to this bracket. This bracket bolts to that bracket, so real close there. Then your cables go on each other side. <coughs> just figure out which way is forward, which way is reverse by turning these. It's very simple, you know. Well, we are in neutral right now because. I can turn the input shaft, the output shaft's not turning and you just click this one over this way or whichever way so this looks like we're going forward because this turns one way this follows the same direction, it's going to be forward right? so then you figure out which way you have to pull that pulley to put it into forward and you play with this here and you realise that it says forward on this little handle is to go back towards you and you see which one of these two cables here move when you pull it that way, and if it moves in this way, well then you want it on this side because it's going to pull that that way and it's going to put it into drive, right? Pretty common sense sort of stuff, I probably didn't even have to tell you that, but yeah, if you're thinking of getting one, I would I would recommend them. For a Chinese unit, they're not bad, they're not bad at all, I mean I haven't used it, uh, I can put a video up once it's on and running, but I, I've from like I've used a lot of stuff in, over my time and this, this is a good little unit, not bad for the money and you know how awesome is it to have reverse neutral you know on a go-kart that's got a flipping <coughs> auxiliary engine in it you can put you can put a neutral and rev your engine up <laughs> not many people can do that because your clutch will catch and take off unless you got a manual obviously but yeah cool little unit excuse this this is my kitchen typical male opening up and putting things together in the kitchen yep that's me and so those are just boxes of crap. Okay, I'll, I'll take you over to the garage later. See ya.